going out, I'm not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin, but there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out, we are not going out. Zombies are supposed to be slow. But they run around in Resident Evil Apocalypse. Actually, they weren't zombies. They were mutations. See, BB's is getting a bit edgy, isn't it? Years of misusing that arm. I told you it would grow too strong and fall off. I don't know why we're trick-or-treating anyway. We're teaching the kids to be Americans. No, we're not. You finished building the wall yet, Donald? Make Halloween great again. Don't worry. Next week, it's back to more sensible British traditions, where we celebrate a 400-year-old terrorist conspiracy by setting fire to a scarecrow. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I'm a bit gassy. What exactly did you put in that pumpkin and sprout pie? If only there were some clues in the name. This house is so spooky. Perhaps we should have stayed on our street. It's so middle class in our street. People keep on giving us fruit. Well, hang on. You know the rules. We only do trick or treat on houses that have Halloween decorations. But there are cobwebs and candles. And there's a black cat. And there's a spooky Halloween message on the door. I don't think these are Halloween decorations. You mean there's a real life witch in there? Of course not. It's Halloween. Should be out working. Stop it! Yeah, not what she did to the last lot of people that knocked. What? What? Come on, we're going. I thought you said zombies can run. No, yeah, well, this is a high speed stagger. Spooky eyeballs. Morbid obesity. Oh, take a photo of them, Lee. Do you remember what they look like? What, with teeth? Where's my phone? You had it at that spooky house. I told you not to cut holes in your pockets. I was getting into character. Lee, you're playing a brain-dead zombie. You're born for this. I probably just dropped it when we came in now. Let me ring it from your phone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't miss a Scooby-Doo ringtone. He bought it off iTunes for six ninety-nine. You paid six ninety-nine for a Scooby-Doo ringtone. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky kids. Hello. Hello. Mine's gone dead. Must have been the owner of that house. Either that or Siri's had a very tough day. Oh, good. You know where your phone is. Exactly. Mystery solved. Had a cup of tea. Well, aren't you going to go and get it? What, now? Yeah. You're not scared, are you? No. Look on, men. I was thinking of upgrading anyway. What to? A backbone? Just go and get it. You're right. It's no big deal. Comes, Daddy, so you can find your way back.
me. I've come back. Not from the dead, from me house. We spoke earlier on the phone. Well, I spoke, you sort of screeched. Well, you're obviously busy. Perhaps I'll pop back tomorrow when the sun's up. That's my phone. Hello. I'm fully armed. <laughs> I'm not armed. It's a replica. Not a gun. What I mean is, no one's gonna get hurt. <laughs> oh. 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 That's the amazing thing about us humans. No matter how you drop us, we always end up landing on our asses. What's that phone? So this is where the Adams family hold their wakes. Sure, keep your windows locked. We wouldn't want burglars stealing your priceless collection of antique shit.
oh, oh, is that nice police woman? I thought it was more of those silly trick or treaters. Come on, Monty, let's go down and say hello. And I must get this door fixed. Mrs. Hoskins, how are you? I'm fine, dear. Now, I don't know what you said. I haven't answered the door to any trick or treat. Well, good. <laughs> I had one family come earlier. Mum and kids seemed OK, but a dad looked, aren't you? There's been a lot of burglaries in this area, and I don't want you to be next. I'd better lock that dining room window. He doesn't come back for days. No, I'll get him. You shouldn't be running round in your condition. Oh, no, I'll get him. Oh, I'm not dead yet, you know. He's going to fool me. Come on, Monty. Come to me. I heard a noise. It must have been that bedpan toppling off the wardrobe. I must have dislodged it when I was closing the doors. Honestly, everything's fine. Every window and door in the house is locked. Nobody can get in. And nobody can get out. <laughs> and nobody's got a spare key except Monty. <laughs> right. Here's your keys and your panic alarm. Oh. I'll put them in my pocket. Yes, you can't be too careful. We've had reports of burglars dressing up in Halloween costumes to trick people. <sighs> and we don't want any unnecessary stress on that heart. You've only just had the operation. Yes, I know. A doctor already told me one tiny little shock and I could drop down dead. <sighs> OK, well, uh, lock the front door when I've gone. And no watching any Halloween horror films. No, no monsters for me. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh sorry. It's all right, Monty. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Grandad Frank, you're too old for chick or treat. Oh, so you don't want these toffees then? Actually, Frank, they've had enough sweets for one day. Give over. There's no such thing as E-numbers since Brexit. What are you dressed as? Well, I'm 200 years old and I sleep in a coffin. And I'll give you a clue, it's not your granddad Geoffrey. Uh, where's Lee? I rang his mobile before, but there was no answer. He went looking for his phone, but he's been gone ages. A bit worried. Is it not insured? Worried about Lee? Oh. Is he not insured? He went to that old house on the corner of Elm Street. Can you go and look for him? Of course. I need to find Lee anyway. It's by a monster mash night down at the Queen's, and I can't go on my own. Why not? I'm skint. Scary films tonight. Oh, now what's this? The Shining. Oh, now that sounds nice. 
and they're always oh, set in a hotel. Oh, we like the exotic marigold, don't, don't we want it? Happy Halloween. And what better way of celebrating than scaring an old woman to death? <sighs> yeah, now you feel, mate. Does she ever open any of these doors? Yes, she does. When you go out, she comes after you. Go on, Monty. Out you go. Go on. You scratch my back. Come on, how you doing, Monty? Take your little paws out. Come on, come on, there you go. Now, however confusing this seems, start trying to get back in again. Spiders, horrible little blood suckers. Hello. needs a phone in prison anyway. And it's an iPhone Plus. They're not quite as easy to smuggle in the traditional way. <sighs> Dad? Lee? What the hell's going on? There was no answer, so I just walked in. You just walked into a stranger's house. Why? How did you get in? Climbed through the window. Which is much more acceptable etiquette. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, great. What's going on? I accidentally got locked in this house, and now I'm trying to get out. Well, why don't you just explain that to the owner? I was going to, but I was scared. What do you think she was going to do? I should do open a difficult jump, yeah? Monty, you are making that terrible screaming noise. Come here. It's enough to wake the dead. This is ridiculous. I'm going to tell her what's happened and tell her to let us out. You can't. 
policewoman came round earlier and warned her about burglars in the area dressed in Halloween costumes. Oh, great. They're going to take one look at my record and bang me up. Well, I'm not going to prison, especially without the benefit of actually having nicked anything. Oh, don't worry, Dad. You won't be getting done for theft. It'll be murder. We can't just kill her. What? I mean, she's just had major heart surgery. The shock of seeing us might finish her off. There must be some way out of this house. The whole place is locked up, and the keys are in her pocket. Let's wait until she's fallen asleep, then nab it out of her pocket. That might not be for hours. We need to find a spur key. She said Monty had one. Who's Monty? The cat. The cat's got a spur key. Does it also wear a straw boater and taunt Officer Dibble? I'm just telling you what she said. Where the hell's the cat keeping a key? Because if it's where I'm thinking it is, that's more like a tea towel holder. There must be another key somewhere, and I'm gonna find it. Steve, I don't need anything. Somewhere. Want his spur key? Says zombies are brain dead. Check a treat. What's happened? You know, you said don't kill her. Yeah. I think I've killed her. What do you mean, killed her? I mean... Why are we whispering? I've murdered the old bat. What'd you do that for? Well, I was just trying to get in the spirit of Halloween. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, God! Don't answer it. The alarm went off. If we don't answer it, we'll send the police. Hello? Is that Mrs. Hoskins? Aye. This is the alarm monitoring service, Mrs. Hoskins. We see you've activated your panic alarm. Is everything all right? Oh, yes, fine, fine. I pressed it by mistake. Why, Scottish? As long as you're okay. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry to have troubled you. That's what we're here for. If you'll just give me the password, I can reset the system and leave you in peace. The what? The password. 
that you set up with us for security? The password, right. Do you have it? Oh, well, why do I? Don't you worry your head about that, dear? We have to confirm that you're Mrs. Hoskins. Oh, I can confirm that. You're very old, grey hair, white dress. That's me. So, if you could just give me the password? Why don't you tell me? What? Well, how do I know who you are? <laughs> You'll be after my credit card details next. So, why don't you tell me the password and I'll say if you're right or wrong? I'm sorry, Mrs. Hoskins, but I do have to confirm your password or send the police round. Oh, no, no, no. I'll tell you the password. Great. When you're ready. Right. How many chances do I get? Please just give me the password now. Is it television? No, it isn't television. Good, good. You passed the test. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Hoskins, this is your last chance. It's a terrible line. I can hardly hear you. If you don't give me the password right now, I'm phoning the police. Is it cat? No. Monty! Monty! My final answer! That's the one. Thank you, Mrs. Hoskins. Have a peaceful evening. Oh, thank God. I thought I was losing my marbles. Good night. Well done, son. That's a relief. Yeah. Thank God we've really got this old woman's corpse to worry about. You can't blame me for that. I mean, it's sad, but you said yourself she's very old and she had an heart condition. Yeah. Being woken suddenly on Halloween with a panic alarm and finding the Prince of Darkness looming over here probably had nothing to do with it. Oh, bloody hell, what have we done? Please forgive me. Oh, forgive him, it was mainly his fault. I think it's time to start whispering again. So I won't need this. Shame, I nicked it especially. Well, it might come in handy if anyone's at home. <laughs> <laughs> at least I found these. We don't need them. I found a spare key. And guess what? I didn't need to set off a panic alarm or almost scare an old lady to death to get it. Come on, let's go. What, I'll just leave her here? You're right. Let's take her home with us on the bus as a souvenir of a lovely evening. We need to make sure she's OK, Dad. She's got a serious medical condition and she's just had a nasty shock. Yes, and if we bring her out, she's going to have another one. Of course, help would have been here right now if Mrs Doubtfire hadn't stood down the alarm people. All right, what about this? We'll phone an ambulance anonymously and then we'll wait outside and check that she's safe. OK. I'm going to go with a Chinese accent. That's weird. There's no dial tone. It was working all right a minute ago. We're just going to have to find a phone box. What, call an ambulance from there? No, I mean leave her in there with a note pinned to her nighty. Yes, phone an ambulance from there. That cat's got big feet. His claws are pretty sharp, too. Phone cable's been cut. Maybe the old woman didn't pay a bill. I don't think BT sent a man round with a Stanley knife. They're robbing her. Well, we're about to dial 999 anyway. We'll just ask for two emergency services. The ambulance and the police. We have to do more than that, Dad. What, flood the basement and call the Coast Guard as well? I mean, we have to go in there and rescue her. They might hurt her. You're right. Good luck. You got me skin! Ah, it's all crap. There's nothing worth nicking. Speak for yourself, mate. You found an iPhone Plus? Let's just get her out of this house safely. 
Just let the police deal with the rest of it. We're gonna have to wake her up again. Not with that. We're trying to get her out of here quietly. Don't worry, Mrs. Hoskins. There's nothing to be frightened of. Well, there is. Quite a lot, actually. Shut up. Virgin, he won't bite me neck. Oh, oh, my dear. Oh. What if she screams again? Don't worry. We'll just explain that she needs to follow us, otherwise, she might get coshed on the head. Let me do the talking. I don't need that. I'm telling you, the place is empty. Best be safe. And this crowbar is brand new. I need to break it in. Ghost of Fora Heard. Come on, Grandma. Tell us where you keep the cash and I might not hurt you. Hello? Oh, you're not dead, are you? Soon change that. I think we need to form that ambulance. You're damn right you do. Trick or f treat, you thieving little count. <laughs> Let's just wait here quietly till the police have arrived. Found my phone. That's good, isn't it? Look, I'm really sorry about our stupid behaviour, officer. You could have given me a heart attack. Don't worry. We believe your story. But you did technically commit a crime against Mrs Hoskins. She did technically whack me over the head with a crowbar. I didn't get to hit that one, though. Oh, well, that's easily solved. Can I also point out we did catch the real burglars? The real burglars that you let into the house. They were going to break in anyway. They might not have succeeded. Of course they would. All they need to do was wedge the crowbar against a strike plate and then leave her Enough out the sun. It is true that we've been eager to speak to those gentlemen for some time now. And so, after discussing the matter with Mrs Hoskins, we've decided we're in no hurry to press charges against you at this time. You're free to leave. Oh, thank you. That's good. Maybe next year you should leave the dressing up to the little ones. And I don't mean your dad. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Shout! Here, not 
Let's go.